<laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm looking at my son. Anywho, greetings, everyone. And I am Kanita, the agent slash investor. And hi, this is my Sawyer's Unibird. Okay, that's all you got to say? And today, let's play a game like this. And now, let's play what I make a video first. And now we outside. And make sure let's play your game back. Now let's see let's see oral story. And now it's getting dark in here. Okay, can, can can I get back to talking about real estate now? Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay. Hi everyone. That was Zaire Universe. But this is Kanita the Agent Slash Investor. How are y'all doing today? Hi. Right now we are here for part two of how a homeowner can sell their own home. So let's go over it. I'm gonna recap from last week of what we had discussed, which is step one, how are you going to sell your home? Deciding the listing price. Anywho, deciding your listing price, preparing your home for sale, market and list your home, show your home, review offers, nego and negotiation, of course, accepting the offer and closing the deal, and moving into your new home. Because that's like, congratulations, you finally got the home. And congratulations, seller, you finally sold your home. Yay. It's like a happy time for both parties. Yay. And that's so, why that is me out. Dog, you know, that tweet is right behind me. Okay, so let's get into it as far as the last four of what I had went over. Okay, while my son is off playing under the tree, because I like sitting up under the tree, sometimes on the tree stump, let's get into it. Step five, show off your home. I don't care if you are a FISBO or if you have an agent that's helping you. You have to show off your home for order. Well, as a seller, you have to show off your home so that way you can market to other people so people can know that your home is there and these are the features or whatever that's there for your home. You want people to know. Please keep in mind that when you are showing off your home, like I said, I don't care if you have an agent, I don't care if you are a FISBO. Please, please, please keep your home tidy and clean as much as possible. As you can see, me for a prime example, <laughs> waving at one of the neighbors. Anywho, as you can see, I have a five years old, and with me having a five years old back over here, Zaire, I have to clean up every two seconds. Y'all know how toddlers and little children are as far as making a huge mess, so I get it. So when you are in the process of selling your home, you have to keep your home clean at all times. Like even if you are a smoker, try not to smoke in your home at all. I know some people out there is pet friendly people that love their pets. You want to try to keep all of that down to a minimum as possible, especially when you are doing open houses and selling and um, showcasing your home and features of your home for people to look at. This um, step six, which is negotiation and review. Of course, that's just easy as far as with negotiation and reviewing offers. You're going to have multiple, sometimes you are going to have multiple offers on the table. I'm not going to say that it happens all the time, but it could happen that you will have multiple offers on the table. So while you and your um, agent is going over those multiple offers, or once again, if you're a FISBO, you got to go through the contracts and stuff like that on your own. You will have to um, review the offers. Oh, I'm looking like my son is looking at the doll and he's running away from small dolls, and it's comical to me because it's like your grandma have small dogs, sir. But anywho, when you are reviewing different offers as far as with the home, I don't care. Like I said, if it's a fizzbo or if you are an agent. You want to make sure that you pick the offers that suit you and your family needs. I don't care what it is. 
So I'm looking down because I'm reviewing my notes in the process. So when you are reviewing the offers, of course, like I said, if you're working with the agent, that agent going to handle all the transactions that need to be handled. Um, negotiation does take place as far as with the pricing or not only with the pricing, if something needs to get done in the house, that's where all the negotiation take place. That's when you use your utilize your agent as far as for that. As I stated before, and I will link the video at the bottom as far as with a FISBO or for sale by owners. Basically, you are reviewing all those documentations and paperwork on your own, so keep that in mind. Step seven is accept the offer and close the deals. Of course, as a seller, when you are selling your home and you went through the whole negotiation process and reviewing all the different offers and things that's put out there to you, of course, you're going to accept it if that's something that you and your family wants to do. So once you accept that offer and deal, that's when you go through a process called the due diligence period. That's for the buyer side where the buyer sits there and inspect the home and everything else. So of course, as a seller, you almost close to your finish line and you excited that the fact that somebody accepted your offer and you're ready to jump on that. Sorry about that, sun had interrupted. And then plus, like I said, I'm sitting outside enjoying nature like I always do and I'm getting towed up by mosquitoes. So I do apologize for that. But back what I was saying, when you are accepting the offer, of course the home comes off the market. It will go through that um, process called a due diligent process. And then under that due diligent process, they do their home inspection and everything else. And also the buyer must attain finances. And then it will go up under into a under uh, underwriting period. So when they are going through an underwriting period, they checking out everything to make sure that the buyer can be able to finance that house. Also keep in mind that banks will expect the buyer's finances and the home is up under the contract. And then once that happens, that's when once they the banks do what they supposed to do and everything goes smoothly. That's the plan. Don't care if you're a FISBO or you have an agent. You want everything to go smoothly. That's when you'll go sign a title and have an escrow document going on. And then that's where the basis sum that up. It would be more paperwork for both parties to sign. So keep that in mind. A lot of paperwork for both parties to sign. Ew. And then the last step for the seller is, yay, you finally sold your house and you moved out. You finally sold the house to the person that really wants the house and that's going to enjoy that house. Paperwork is done. Pop champagne. Do what you do best. So that's basically sum up all eight steps of what goes on. Sorry, y'all, that I'm trying to speed it up. I'm sitting, like I said, sitting outside, getting told up by mosquitoes every two seconds. So, what is the whole thing of the steps that I went over, all eight steps? I want the sellers to keep... Go sit in the porch. Porch, I will. Go sit in the porch. Okay, son, we about to go sit in the porch. Come on. Because I am getting towed up by mosquitoes. Come on, Zaire. I want people to keep in mind... Sorry about that, y'all. was talking to one of my neighbors. But anywho, I want y'all to keep in mind with this. When you are selling your home, is this. What are your goals? What are you trying to do as far as selling your home? What is your ending goal? As long as you know what your ending goal is as far as for selling your home, it will be somewhat a smooth process. I won't say it will be a hundred percent smooth because sometimes some things can happen and it is what it is but once you understand and got a process in mind what you're trying to do even if you have a even if you have a real estate agent or if you are a fizzbo trust and believe me it will work out for you and everything will come together like it's supposed to I hope you had enjoyed this video. Y'all have seen my beautiful son in Zaire universe. And I know I was all over the place, but the mosquitoes was catching me off guard because they was chewing my ankles up, honey. My ankles is towed up. So now I got to throw some alcohol on it. 
But anywho, please follow me on all social media platforms as Kanita the Agent slash Investor. And also keep in mind that whenever you are ready to sell your home or purchase a home, please find me on social media or find me on Google as Kanita the Agent slash Investor. Once again, y'all have a lovely day. Bye!